Hey everyone, this is Asbel Dave. So as you can see, I have the Sabertooth 990FX R2. Um, so the problem I'm having is the DRAM LED. So let me see if... Okay, so it's not showing up right now. And nothing is being posted. And my keyboard... It is connected, so nothing is popping up. So what I'm going to do is is uh, flip the switch off, get rid of the extra energy, disconnect the power, take out the motherboard, or not the motherboard, but the graphics card, take the battery out. Put the battery right there. Take the CMOS clearer and enable it. Let it be there for like 10 seconds. Alright, it's been 10 seconds. Take that out. Put the battery back in. Enable this, or disable it, I mean. Put the graphics card in. Um, you know what, I'm going to put it over here so that I can actually see the if the graphics light is going on and off. Alright, so, this is in pretty tight. This is in all the way. This one is in. Yeah, it is. It's just a little bit like. Let's see, it's in though. Um, turn the TV on. All right, put this in. Switch it on. Now it should post from what uh, Ace Asa said. So let's turn it on. And there's no red light there, no red light right there, no red light right there. Um, let me turn it off. Let me try each one of these. Push one side. Make sure they're both secure. Alright, turn it back on. No beeps either from this. It was uh, one long beep and two short beeps when it was uh, going off. I should probably take that off now. Um, I don't have a hard drive in there. Um, what else could I do? I could try turning it off. I'm plugging this. And turn it on like that. Let's see what that does. Alright, so that gives me... One. Oh, oh, oh! Alright, so... That is how you fix it. I'm guessing. Um, I'm still not getting a reading from this. So... I am going to try that one more time. Let me plug in the power supply and plug in my hard drive. Oops, power supply came off. So you heard one beep, but you can tell right there that. Press and hold the power. 
Alright, gotta do what it has to do, make sure this is all connected, it is. Yes, it is. So, okay. So, if you're getting the red light, all you have to do is remove the battery, remove these clips, put the clip on the second and third one for 10 seconds, remove the clip, put the battery back in, and put it on the third slot. And that's how you fix it. Um, what just happened? I think I touched that and made it go black. So, anyways, I, you guys saw that it posted, so let's do it one more time, but without touching that graphics card. All right, what if we actually turned out the power and drained the, there it goes. All right, now turn it on, power it on. Now it's the CPU light, hmm. So, what we're going to do is we're going to power it off. We're going to take this out. Oh, wait, maybe it's because of the switch. Let me try that. No. Oh, what the heck? Alright, so... Now it's the CPU that's doing it. Hmm. Um. Let's try to flash the BIOS. I don't know which ver. I got two versions. One is the latest, and one is the first version that's compatible with the CPU so I have no idea which one so let's go with this one that's if I can plug it in alright press and hold it and as soon as it's done I'll play it back Alright, so now that it's blinking fast, that means it was successful, and it is, uh, I guess, loading up the BIOS, or shutting off the BIOS or something. So let's go ahead and remove this. Turn off this. Unplug it. Um, we got this. So take out the battery. Make sure there's no power static in there and now let's try this again by enabling it for 10 seconds and it's been 10 seconds so let's take that out put the battery back in and plug this back in Turn it on. Okay, this is connected. Everything is secured, I believe. Uh, let me see if this is actually... Is it secured? Yes, it is. So, let's try it again. And... It's still doing it. Alright. 
So we just had it working, but I have no idea. So we went from uh, DRAM light right there to it booting up and then now it's CPU LED. Huh. Now what I'm gonna try to do is this one, I guess. So I'll be back. All right, now that it's done flashing itself, let's unplug it. Do this. Make sure that light gets turned off. Hold this down to get rid of all the extra. Undo the battery. All right, 10 seconds from now. All right, it's been 10 seconds. Put in back the battery. Um, let's actually uh, put this on the first one because who knows, I might be doing something to it. It's nice and secure down there, I believe. Let me get a gander. Yes, it is. So let's plug this back in. Turn it on. Battery thing's on. Let's power it on. And red light again. All right. Just to make sure, let me see something. All right, so the LED thing doesn't even want to work. Let me see what happens if I. All right. Still nothing. All right, so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it on the regular way. The power one is right here. And then press and hold this. And still nothing. All right. Let me turn this off. Drain that. Come on, drain. Alright, it's nice and secure in there. It has plenty of paste. Probably a little bit too much. Let's try to reset it inside. Let's see, actually, let's see if there's any faults in it. Let's if I can get it to uh, hold on. Let me there we go. Alright. Everything looks straight. So let's put it back in. Now I'm the now I'm the kind of person that I will like keep on working it to this until I figure out what's wrong with it. And of course I didn't. I forgot off on this side. Alright, so uh, nice and tight. Like maybe the pins got somehow disconnected. Alright, let's turn it back on. 
turnip. All right, so. We're getting. So. All right. Is this going to work? Yes, it does. All right, let's see what happens. Automatic repair. All right, is this still going? Yes, it is. Sorry about the light. It's just really dark over here, but it's not over here. So I'll start going if anything happens. All right, so what we have here, I don't know if it's backwards or not for you guys. Uh, I'm sorry if it is. Uh, actually. All right, if it is, I am sorry, but all right. So what happened is that I had to either restart or advance option, so I'm going to restart. So, all right, so that's a good sign. All right, so we want to... Let's connect that. We want to connect our mouse. So I'm. Alright, our mouse is working. So. It's at 3.2, which is a little bit too short for. or too small for me. Alright, built version 2501x64. So if you have. An, FX8320, you might want to get 2501 because I think that's the latest one. I'm not even sure. I, unless it's like 3000 something. Alright, so the time looks right. Um, let's change this to 3.2. F10, save and restart. Okay, so now, who is this? The suspense is killing me. Uh, okay. I was like, why didn't it beep, and why didn't I see the BIOS? So, it is working. As soon as it gets up, I'll show you everything that's on it. Alright, so... So, for some reason, it is being super slow. But it is loading. The CP... Disk is at 100. That is not good. Driver installation. All right, so I have no idea what's going on right there. So if anything happens, like if it freezes or something weird happens, I'll start recording again. All right, so after about three or four minutes of it doing whatever, it went back down instead of 99%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it go for about a half hour and then... I'm going to restart it and see if it starts up back again. And then I'm going to unplug everything and disconnect the RAM and all that kind of stuff as if I was putting it back in my case and then just put it back in the box like this and see if it boots up regularly again. If not, I'll make a video on, well, I'm still going to make a video on me turning it off and unplugging it and all that kind of stuff. Um, I do want to see how f fast it loads up there in Explorer. It actually uh, takes up 82%. And it goes down. Which does not make any sense. And closing it brings it all the way up to... Uh, what the hell? I have no idea what's going on. I already closed it, but yet it's still there. Alright, 
Um, let's try open. See, that was pretty fast. Alright, 58, 75, 91, 99. Oh, God. Alright, so if these can go, like you can transfer uh, like 100 megabytes per second. I don't see why it can't. Uh, I was using the wrong mouse. See, I was using it for that one. Um, I can't see why this can't. Alright, let's see. Alright, so if I open up a folder. So opening up a folder takes 70% of my disk space. Um. I am going to have to try to fix that somehow. So it's mainly active time. Well, here, let me see. Let me put them side by side. Close that out. Do the start menu. 91%. Alright, so this is like the percentage like the like the disk percentage yeah so disk time what's this the read so that's how fast it can read um graphs yeah that doesn't do anything for me all right so i'll let you guys know if i get a fix on this or not and I'll see you guys later oh yeah make sure to watch my next video on part two because that will detail more into this so if you guys have the DRAM like going and you're able to fix it but you have slow disk I'm gonna try to f fix that too for you guys and I'll see you guys later